Hello, today we are going to make the fidget spinner on Onshape. I'm going to start by clicking create in the top left corner document. I'll call this fidget spinner. And um, just like anything, whenever you're working on Onshape and you're trying to create a 3D part, I'm going to start a sketch and I'm going to click the front plane. You have your top front and right views here. I like to work with the front plane, so I'm going to click on front and then change my screen so it's a 2D view. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get a circle, click here in the middle, click release, move the mouse out, click again, and I can edit that dimension. Don't click too many times. As soon as you click release, make the circle, click again. You can edit the dimension. I'm going to type in 1.5. Press enter, and I have my circle that has a diameter of 1.5. I'm going to make a second circle, click release, click again, type 3. So I have two circles. One of them has a diameter of 1.5, the other has a diameter of 3. Um, from there, I am going to select the line tool, and I want to have a construction line. So after I select the line tool, I'm going to come over here and select construction. I'm going to click on the center of the circles, click release, move the mouse down, click again, and I want this line to be 2.5 inches. 2.5 enter so I currently have um, two circles and a line construction line that is 2.5 inches so I'm going to come up again grab the circle just a normal circle make sure you took construction off click release move it out I want this first circle to be a diameter of three inches the second circle I make here to be a diameter of two inches. So we have, again, four total circles. The last two that we just made, three inch diameter and two inch diameter. From there, we have all we need to make the fidget spinner work. So I'm going to come up here to my pattern button. I'm gonna click the drop down, click circular pattern because we have a circular object we wanna rotate around. I want a circular pattern of this outside circle and this inside circle to rotate around the center here. So you can see that. Once you see the outline, you can finish the sketch and you can see how our fidget spinner is going to start to come to life here. This is just a personal preference. I'm going to go back into this sketch and I like to trim the lines here that overlap. It makes it easier to extrude, um, but you do not have to do this step. It's just something that I like to do. So I trim those lines that connect there, finish the sketch, and then you can see my fidget spinner is ready to be extruded. I'm gonna click on the extrusion button, and I wanna click on the inside of the fidget spinner. It's just it's extruded one inch, click the green check, and at this point, all I have to do is use the fillet button. I want to fill it each of these corners, and I want to fill them to be 0.5. I edit that to 0.5, and I click each of these corners. Make sure you're not clicking when other things are highlighted. You just want to highlight this little corner. So one, I have to do six of them. Two, three, four, five, and again, you gotta be careful, make sure you're only clicking the corner. Six, so we got them all, green check. And the last thing I wanna do, I'm gonna click, drag, select everything, click the fillet button one more time, and then here you can edit this to be what you want it to be. I'm going to try and type in 0.15. Enter. Select the green check. And then there's my final product. If you have any questions as you're creating your fidget spinner, please pause, rewind, rewatch the video. Or you can ask me questions in class. Thank you again for watching.